Privyet everyone! Today, pupunta kami sa Gatchina na isang suburban city ng St. Petersburg. Ready, babe? Think so. There are multiple ways to get to Gatchina from St. Petersburg, but for us, traveling by electric train, well, that's our personal favorite. Bumili ako ng tiburog piroshi para baon! <laughs> Ang ganda-ganda, napakalinis, at napaka-convenient ng suburban train station nila. I hope one day magkaroon tayo ng ganito sa Pilipinas. So ayan, papunta na tayo sa track 3 kung nasaan ang train natin papuntang Gatchina. Pinili namin sa Kian ang Ordinary or Economy Elektriska Train. Pero kung gusto mo ng masosyal, pwede mo piliin ang Comfort Train. Ang price ay nag-range sa 189 to 256 rubles. Hala, ayan, sinara na ang pituan. Paalis na tayo! The electric train to Gatchina from St. Petersburg's Baltiski train station took about an hour and cost 206 rubles round trip per person. That's roughly $2.68. Mula sa train station, may mga around 5 to 10 minute walk bago natin marating ang palasyo. Ito ang totoong itsura niya. Napakaganda, di ba? We got there in the morning, and there for a while, we had Gatchina's Palace Square all to ourselves. According to stpetersburg.com, Gatchina was the imperial residence that was perhaps the most lived in by the Tsars. It was the favorite grounds of Empress Catherine the Great, who bought the village and surrounding lands there in 1765 for her favorite suitor at the time, Count Gregory Orlov. It took architect Antonio Rinaldi 15 years to complete the Gatchina Palace, finishing in 1781. Empress Catherine the Great bought back Gatchina and passed it on to her son, the future Tsar Paul. Paul had the palace remodeled to accentuate its fortress-like qualities which fit his more militaristic preferences. Puha tayo ng mga tiket papasok sa Palace Garden. Libre pinapamigay ni ate ang mga tiket papunta sa Palace Gardens. Nakakatuwa, no? Libre. Ayan na, nakapasok na kami. Ang Lower Dutch Garden ang sasalubong sa'yo pagpasok mo sa loob ng Palace Garden. Wow! Ang ganda-ganda! I very much believe Gatchina is the most underrated of all of St. Petersburg's suburbs. 
You hear so much about Peterhof, Pushkin, and Pavlovsk, but I'll tell you, Gatchina and its impressive beauty and rich history deserves a lot more respect. Selfishly though, I kind of hope it stays more of a lesser known place, a treasure mainly for the locals and off the beaten path for tourists. The prospect of the 25th of October borders the park's east side. Out here you can see the Constable Obelisk off to the south, which was remodeled and reassembled in 2017, and the Three Arch Lion Bridge. I think the Imperial Estates of St. Petersburg can each be summed up in one word. Peterhof, fountains. Pushkin, palace. Pavlovsk, nature. Lamanosov, flowers. Gatchina, my one word for you is bridges. Here are some of my photos from the stunningly beautiful area around Gatchina's White Lake. Marianne and I shot these videos before we decided to upload them publicly to YouTube, so I accidentally neglected to get video from that area, instead settling for photographs. Ay, ayan, may mga pato, ah. <laughs> Ang cute nila, grabe! Aside sa ducks, sa kaibat iba klase ng ibon, meron ring squirrel. Ito o oh, ang likot likot niya. Hala, ayan. Ah, nakita ng bata. Ayan pupuntahan. Makikipaglaro kaya siya sa bata. <laughs> ang cute. Ayun. Ay, ang cute! Chiveta Chnaya Gorka, Flower Hill. Ayan, sa so, bawat hagdanan may mga tanim na mga flowers. Sige, akitin natin to at tignan natin ng maigi. Ayan, ang ganda. Simple lang yung mga flowers pero nakaka-add ng beauty dito sa lugar na to. Ito ang templo ng pagibig. Upon crossing this bridge, you have entered the island of love. Portal Masca. Ginawa itong building na ito para itrik tayo na akalain natin na bonga ang nasa loob ng building pero pagpasok mo ay simpleng birch tree house lang pala. Parang tagalag ko na akalain mo magaling pero hindi talaga ako bihasa. Because of the COVID stuff, they don't have the birch house open. Yeah, you walk through this this arch, and right there it is.
червєвські ворота. After looping around the gorgeous and winding White Lake, we've come to the Sylvia Gate on the west side of the lake near Red Army Prospect. We have three distinct paths there, there, and there. Kind of memorial thing. As we walked to the Royal Farm, we were met by a friendly cat interested in whatever we could feed it. Yeah. Don't be an ingrate. It's right outside the farm area. Never been here before. We've got a donkey, we've got some goats. A cat here. In front of us is the Forest Greenhouse, originally built in the late 1700s as a place to grow fruits and berries for the royal family. Unfortunately, it was heavily damaged during World War II and is still awaiting restoration. Ito ang private garden. Nung araw na pumunta kami, sarado siya. Kaya hindi kami nakapasok sa loob. Sayang. By this time, we had already circled around White Lake and the palace grounds, and the sun had come out. So we looked around Carp Pond again and found a nice bench out of the way and had lunch. Despite having been there just a couple of times, Gatchina's Palace Grounds has become a special place for me. It's much less of a tourist trap than the main suburbs, and there has been extensive renovation and restoration going on that has made things look really nice again. It's a great place to walk around in nature and relax. Thank you for joining us in this video. I hope you guys like it. And I hope you can see why I consider Gatchina to be St. Petersburg's most underrated suburb. Please like and subscribe. See you again soon. Das Vidanya, everyone.